In Britain, secrecy and complexity in finance and government help to obscure corruption in public office. Financial structures are often so complex that even after they are publicly revealed, they are not widely recognized for what they are. An example of this is PFI, the Private Finance Initiative. PFI is Private Finance Initiative. It is a way of funding public infrastructure, things like hospitals, schools, roads and bridges, but financing them via the private sector rather than historical method, which is via central government. Over a period of 30 or 40 years, the amounts of kind of repayment costs will be sort of three or four times higher overall than if you borrowed it from central government in the first place. So it's basically a giant accounting scam. Once the PFI policy has been set up, um, you find that the big four accountancy firms were actually um, paid members of staff within the Treasury Department who were then actually going around and selling and advising upon the implementa implementation of PFI contracts by public authorities. Effectively saying, come to us and we will show you how to derive the most benefit from it. In other words, how to perhaps exploit the legislation. Even the offices of the state tax authority are now owned offshore. HMRC, which is the, the tax collector here in the UK, their offices are owned in Bermuda by a company called Mapley Steps. It's quite incredible. The company that owns the PFI contract to run HMRC's head office borrowed money from offshore investors at 15% interest. Because the interest was so high, the company was losing money. Therefore, it did not pay tax. In 2011, HMRC could not prove that any PFI company was paying any tax in the UK. I think we need to have a serious conversation about the, the role of government in this whole debacle and how much our government has been penetrated by big banks and accountancy firms and ultimately in whose interest it operates.